Hi, it's Maxine. I haven't posted in a while. <laughs> so, the reason for that is, I can't remember when exactly it happened, but I got the flu. I think I mentioned that. And then, um, about a week or so later, I got seasonal allergies that were really bad. Like, there's still pollen all over my car because I live right by all these cedars and I'm not sure exactly which tree is doing it but it's a lot worse this year than I remember last year and thankfully it hasn't affected my breathing but I was just my nose like I could not breathe through my nose <laughs> but yeah um today's video isn't about a specific topic except I wanted to say that it's my channel's anniversary woohoo <laughs> um like I my channel's probably like six or seven years old but I was just using it for personal use and then maybe a few years ago I was doing shorts and that was kind of like an experiment just to see what I was just kind of posting random things like makeup that I was doing, my collection. Um, then I kind of started posting like, um, just like products and stores that I thought were cool or thought other people would like. And then, um, well, there's like this, um, and then a year ago, so April 6th, so April 6th last year, I officially started my channel, which was something completely out of my comfort zone. I used to be so insecure and that I wouldn't even like to FaceTime with people, not even people I was like in a relationship with. I pretty much had no idea how I sounded or how I looked. <laughs> besides photos and um so it's definitely been an experience <laughs> but I recommend everyone to try it if it's something that you like have been thinking about you just kind of have to go into it knowing that um most likely you're not just gonna blow up right away or like you're not gonna unless whatever you're doing is something extremely popular like the topics I'm picking are very sensitive subjects, pretty triggering, depressing. So of course, I think slowly over time, I'm developing or building an audience. And truthfully, a lot of my audience actually comes from my shorts, which is not anything to do with the type of video content I make. <laughs> So that says a lot, but um, I'm not letting it hurt my feelings. Like I'm still persisting because I know that as uncomfortable it is as it is, it does help people to talk about. And as per usual, I picked the busiest area ever in Victoria, BC, Dallas Road, but it just is like my very favorite place to go. Um, you can just walk all along the shore um, and you can see the mountains over in Washington and just the sea is sparkling and the clouds and it's just beautiful like and there's an awesome dog park nearby that I take my dogs to off it often so but yeah with my with shorts so it was kind of an experiment to see what it would be like and what would happen someone kind of recommended it to me because I was already making, um, I was kind of doing several different things before. Like I had a keto account when I lost weight. It was like up to 6,000 people and I, followers and I deleted it. <laughs> and then I had like a makeup collection from a popular brand and then I ended up deleting most of those videos because I didn't um, support them for certain different reasons. And um, so then 
a year ago I just like on a whim just decided to make my first video like completely unprepared no idea in mind I just started filming myself <laughs> and, um, and then I kind of branched off into a few different things I started off with showing off my travel trailer that I live in and um Oh my god, there's someone swimming over there. <laughs> Backstrokes in the sea. And over there, there's someone doing Tai Chi. <laughs> I'm distracted. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> what was I saying? Um, then I chose to do different topics and slowly with time I started to get more organized because if I just pick a topic and then I just talk off the top of my head for my memory, well, then I kind of am just, I'm not, um, able to like stay on track. If I just pick a topic and speak solely off of memory, then I'll tend to not stay on track and the video will branch off into many different subjects or in relation to like things that just come to mind. So I think my videos have gotten a bit better when I started to write down what I was going to talk about because then it's shorter and I started editing a little more. I don't plan to edit too much ever and I'm I'm never going to make them like add, I don't know, I just, my videos are never going to be super edited. I'm just going to try to edit out a lot of the ums and stuff, <laughs> some of my poor habits, but anyway, um, and then, so my biggest video to date was, uh, late diagnosed 50 signs as a child with autism which it was almost on its way to getting a thousand views so that was kind of cool but then no it stopped at seven something <laughs> and the next biggest video I made was when I went to City in Color and I just took like 30 second clips here and there of City in Color and um Ruby Waters and Nathaniel Reitliff and the Night Sweats. That was a really awesome show that just happened at Save on Foods Memorial Center in Victoria. And um, that was a nice concert because not only do I love City and Color so much, but I haven't seen Ruby Waters before or Nathaniel Reitliff and, and I got to reconnect with a friend. So that was really nice. And, oh, and my third biggest so far, besides my shorts, because those are the ones that get, my biggest shorts video that I uploaded was um, just these chili pepper dog toys I saw at Canadian Tire, and it got 20,000 views. But meanwhile, <laughs> and it's like literally a few seconds long, it makes no sense. And... But that's kind of just how it goes sometimes. Like on TikTok, I added a video of um, this giant unicorn blow up water toy and it got like 3 million views. <laughs> so sometimes it's the most random things. But the reason I'm continuing on to make videos, even though, though the ones that are most important to me aren't getting very many views, is just because it's not about popularity or anything like that is just solely based on getting information out or sharing my experience helping others not feel so alone and relating to things such as childhood trauma and oh yeah so I don't know if I said it but the third video largest video on my channel was um autist um it was autistic people versus neurotypical, like, uh, 
I call it Q&A, like with Jubilee Media, but it's not really a Q&A. It's kind of like a prompt, like it'll say, um, I'm offended by the word special or something. And then people either say yes or no, and then they explain their points. But since I wasn't a part of that video, obviously, what I would do is just um, say my point of view on it. So anyway, so that's just a little tiny um, update. I haven't really been doing too much lately because I was sick for a while. I haven't been working very much. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm working on call and it's, um, I'm not going to say what it is exactly, but it's like it's a job I was very proud to get. Like it took a lot of background checks, fingerprints, everything like that, but it's on call and, and I'm pretty much a I'm pretty much at the bottom of the list when it comes to seniority and if um, if full time is to come up then there's other people going to be fighting for the same position and they're going to most likely get it over me since I'm brand new so I don't know if it's something I'm going to be willing to wait around for for a long time or what but um, yeah it's just kind of some disappointing aspects to working on call even though it's such like a valued corporation in Canada but um I'm gonna see what happens with it um I would like to stay with it long term I'd like to retire with the company I'd like to get full-time eventually maybe I can branch off into a different area than what I'm doing now but Ideally, I'd like to stick with what I'm doing just full time. And yeah, I know that hours will pick up a bit more because um, there's different locations I can work at and then it picks up at the end of the year during the holiday season. So little um, giveaways about what it might be. So, I just want to do a little short update video today because, oh, and then after I got over my seasonal allergies, then I got a freaking cold sore. So that's another reason I haven't made a video in like two weeks is because for this past week, I can't like help but leave it al or, um, I've been really good at like getting over my picky habits, like with, whether it be dry skin or a scratch or a scar and like. I have really bad habits like that and I've been pretty good at that but this one is kind of hard to avoid but it's almost better so video topics I'm gonna make in the near future um, I still want to do well I want to go get tested for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome because I have fibromyalgia, but I did a video before where I compared the symptoms and I have more of EDS than fibromyalgia, so it'd be interesting to find out about that. And um, what else? I'm going to do a video on my surgery someday. And one thing, since I live in a travel trailer and a lot of people are getting more curious about that lifestyle because it is sometimes more affordable it really depends but being able to just kind of pick up and go and live in different places especially if you're allowed to work remotely it could be a really cool thing but i've done renovations on my trailer so that's something i kind of want to show soon it started off very modern and really nice compared to a lot of the trailers that me and my mom looked at and then now we have our own trailers but originally we looked and this was like one of the nicest ones in my opinion in the weight limit that we could pull with my truck well suv truck and um and then uh but I just like impulsively wanted to, t I was thinking about it for a long time that I wanted to paint it and just make it feel a little more homey and 
and I made it completely opposite of what it is now like painting the walls black and really dark deep purple and the cabinets black and with gold um gold pulls and stuff like that so it's gonna look really neat it's gonna look literally night to day or day to night <laughs> night and day day and night because it's going from light and bright and trying to make it seem open and then it's going to very dark kind of gothic style but yeah so thank you for tuning in thanks if you've been here with me this whole year or even if you just joined recently thank you I appreciate it a lot um if you have any video topics of course there's many more topics I just can't exactly think right now I'm very distracted by the beauty of what I'm seeing and I'll include a clip of the beauty of it in a moment for you but yeah I just appreciate it I appreciate the comments and and um see you again soon Living close to your family is important. Having money is important, like if you don't want to live a minimal lifestyle, but living in paradise is pretty important to me. I feel very lucky every day. Okay, see you soon.